Okay, uh, this video we are going to talk about uh, Tauri. Tauri is, um, as per this site, it's a toolkit that helps developers make application for major desktop platforms using virtually any front-end framework like React or Vue.js. And the backend uh, is going to be a REST programming language. And um, REST is basically more secure and system programming language. So it's kind of an alternative for Electron framework. So um, yeah, we can do this setup here um, based on your operating system. You can follow the documentation. So I'm following the Windows one. And uh, yeah, uh, the Windows one, um, we need to install Rust C and Cargo. You can download it from here. These links, if you don't have, I already have it. And Node.js, you need to install. And Yarn as well, um, you need to install. And install a web view too. So for that, you might need to go to this page and install. I already installed it. So I think that's all you need. And after that, we can uh, move on to your first story app. So basically, uh, since you have, we have already installed the yarn, we can use yarn create story app. So let's create um, So it will ask for the project name and what kind of framework you want to use. So yeah, app name, I'm just giving the app. And what the title of the window, it is, it is basically creating an app. So this is the uh, window title. And here it's asking what kind of framework you want to use. It's vanilla JS. I'm using create uh, react app and Tauri AMPS API NPM package. Yes, we need to install that. And create React app with JavaScript. Yes, we want to choose uh, TypeScript. So after this, yeah, it will take some time to install the Tauri app in your uh, system. So let's wait for it. Yeah, the installation is complete. So you will see Tauri.com JSON got created. And the next step would be CD, the app we have created. And just run Yarn Tauri Dev. So it will run at Tauri for development. And it will open a Tauri app. I think it will take some time. I'll post the video and come back once it's done. Okay. Our Tauri React app is ready and the app is uh, up and running. You can see it's a React symbol coming. So let's open Visual Studio Code. Yeah, uh, this is our app, and mainly we have one folder SRC that has all our JS, CSS, all our files. 
app files and then files and uh, we have another host folder src dash story that is where we have our rust program and the cargo tomal all our build.rs all those things so apart from that um, this configuration file tauri conf json this is where we have all the configurations so we can update uh, this configuration file and uh, make changes on our resources and allow the limit allow limit is there so yeah that way we can uh, restrict the resources so having said that we can go to our react app.js so from here it is basically an, a react app so we can remove all these um, all this um, lines it and I'm creating a new component button component uh, and hook on uh, I'm just defining a foo function We'll create that foo function and click so this is both our basic um, and i'm creating the foo function is our um, call this act arrow function And also I want to import a uh, normal react user state and react so import react state from react well react index so we are in back importing react and use state and Let's um, create another constant. Constant count count um set count. We use state. Um, use it, and what we want here is set sound plus one. Yeah. So this is what we want to do, and how this will work? Let's see. Yeah, we have to click. Uh, but somehow the oh okay yeah we have in build the state count yeah let's see uh let's see let's let's view give some formatting. Click, yeah, it's changing. So, this is our app. So, it's working as a basic um, React app, desktop app. Now, um, let's create um, some commands, Tauri commands. So for that we can we have 
documentation here. Three commands. Three analytical. So let's create a story command. So the syntax is um, we have to use this attribute mark macro. This is pretty common syntax in Rust language. This command and fn function and i command. It's the function syntax, and I'm just print ln a command. Let's see what happens. This and also need to invoke this. So, how do we do that? Invoke invoke handler. So we are making attaching an invoke handler to the app. And we are template handler. So basically, we attach the attach the my command, the Tauri command into the invoke handler. Now we can uh, use that invoke handler here. Let's see. We can just in here invoke. Yeah. Before that, we need to add import. From it, how we hope it's APM. API Tauri dash Tauri. The recording is going on. In walk, how we have in walk function and we are giving a command quotes you have to give the exact command if you have some underscore i think you need to yeah here my underscore custom command we are calling it here yeah same name yep yeah, same name so let's see what is happening here 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 our command is printing this um, thing. So it's basically printing the uh, message. Now let's see we can pass an argument from here. So for that, um, let's say we need to pass a message, which is this a string. So we want to do is what with count is first state sorry count and we are passing that string here so, yes this is my string by so passing that here and but we our command doesn't have an argument here so we need to add an argument so it will be a function normal function parameter message and the rest uh, string is string string type is string and we can just uh, print that 
now variable here run here i think that's all we need it will get compiled automatically let's see it's getting compiled building is going on Oh, yeah, app is opening now. Yeah, count is zero. Yeah, it, it's refreshing, but it's printing twice. Yeah, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's basically uh, calling this command from front end and passing the state and printing it in the console. I think that's all I intended to cover in this uh, video. We'll come up with uh, some other uh, uh, tutorial on Tauri sometime later. Thank you for watching this video.